Good morning. It's so wild. So uh, welcome to Core and More. And this is our 55th class. So just for fun this morning, I went back to the very first class that was done over a year ago in March. And I'm cracking up because it turns out I'm wearing the exact shirt that I was wearing a year ago, more than a year ago. Uh, I decided today that I am going to repeat the first class almost. We'll do a few variations because we're so much stronger now. So start in a comfortable seat, no matter what that is. And we'll start with 25 rounds of Kapalabhati breathing. A year ago we did 15, we can do 25. Now, if you are pregnant or you've had a hernia operation, please do not do this. Uh, you can say hello to my grand dog who was also here a year ago, right? Okay, Sutton, see you later. Anyway, inhale your arms up to the sky into a V. Make two gentle fists, your thumbs are facing each other. Kapalabhati breathing is a partial inhale and about an 80% effort on your exhale. So you're really feeling your exhale. It really gets your, your whole belly and abdominal area going. Here we go. Take a partial breath in and begin. Exhale, just release your hands. Let's do that one more time. Inhale your arms up. Make two gentle fists. Take an exhale. Thumbs pointing to each other. Take a partial inhale. And begin 25 more rounds. as you pause. And then exhale, slowly release. So last year we actually did Uddiyana and we also did the Uddiyana Kriya, but I believe I did that last week, so I'm skipping that today. Come up onto your lower legs, tuck your toes, straight spine, interlock your hands in front of you, take a breath in, Exhale, go all the way back, as far as you can, straight spine, no curving, breathe. Pull your belly in, inhale, come up. You'll feel this in your quads and your core. Exhale, go back. Inhale, come up. Two more times, exhale, go back. Inhale, come up. Last one, exhale, go back. Inhale, come on up. From here, release down and plant your feet. Stirring the risotto. Interlock your hands just like we just did on our lower legs. So we're keeping our knees and our legs and our feet still. We're not wobbling them around. We're focusing everything into our core. One hand on top of the other, sit up tall. Exhale, go back to your right. We'll do the first one slowly. Come through the front of your legs. Inhale, come all the way up, straight arms. So again, we're keeping our feet and our legs still. Exhale, go back. Inhale, come up. Exhale, go back. Inhale, come up. Other side. Exhale, go back. Inhale, come up. It seems easy after a year. Exhale, go back. Inhale, come up. And last one. Exhale, go back. Inhale, come up. Laying on our backs. Core cultivation. This is the first time we had introduced it last year. So check out where you are. 
right? Flat on your back, arms by your side. Inhale, lift your legs up, flex your feet, lower legs as parallel to the floor as you can. Stay here, just pause for a moment. Inhale, lift your head up, come up off your shoulders a little bit. Arms are lifted a few inches off the ground. Squeeze your legs together and now exhale. Press your legs forward. Remember, if you feel this in your lower back, then don't bring your legs out as far, right? And breathe. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. I think we held it maybe for four breaths or five breaths, the very first one. We can all do this a lot longer now. Keep breathing. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Keep breathing. This is so awesome for your TVA, transverse abdominis. Feeling it getting stronger, right? The sides, the front, not your back. You don't want your back to feel this. Keep breathing. Two more breaths. And then exhale, hug your knees in. Inhale, rock yourself up. Cross one ankle over the other. I don't care which one. Squeeze your legs in. So we will do the, the gentle way on the first side, but the second side, we're moving right into it. Plant your heels on the ground for Tolasana. Arms by your side. Inhale, lift your bum up. Exhale, lower it. Now inhale, lift your feet up. Exhale, lower it. And now we inhale, lift everything up because we can. Breathe. And exhale, lower. Moving to the easy side. Cross your legs the other way. Let your heels stay on the ground. Inhale, lift your bum. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift your feet. Exhale, lower. And now pull your legs in again. Lean forward a little. Press your hands into the earth. Think about that core. Breathe. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. From here, straighten your legs out. I'm doing a couple variations. It's funny, I went back to the first one, as I mentioned in the beginning, the very first core and more. I can't believe I didn't do the L-sit and I didn't do the hip flexor triangles in that first class, which of course we're throwing in here today. So, if you have your blocks, bring them by your side. Hands on the blocks. Breathe in. Remember, there's two ways to do an L-sit. You can come up in that perfect L-shape or you pull your hips back and then you really feel it in the transverse abdominis. So, pressing your hands on your blocks or your mat, breathe in, lift your, your bum up, then scooch your heels back so that your hips are behind and breathe. Deep breathing. Lift your feet. Lower your feet, stay, keep breathing. Scooch them back more. Exhale. Happily lower down. Move the blocks. Move right into hip flexor triangles. Breathe in, lift your right foot up. We'll do this together. Exhale out to the side. Inhale, come up on that diagonal. Exhale, hover. We're doing 12. Exhale, inhale up. Exhale, out. Inhale up, exhale, keep going. This is our fourth. If you're just joining for the first time, I can't see who's on right now because the uh, phone is a little too far away. But if you're joining for the first time, you will feel this in your quads. But you won't as you keep doing it. You will get your hip flexors strong and you will take it out of your quads your knee, your hamstring. Very exciting, two more. Here we go. Starting to get warm, what about you? That's the thing that I miss about in-person classes. I like to have the, the repartee between you all. Breathe in, lift your left foot up. Exhale out to the side. Inhale, come up. Exhale, hover, I mean at least zoom you can have the conversation, and I like that on the Tuesday vinyasa class. I like to be able to chit-chat with people. Keep breathing, we're on our fourth one. Number five. 
Here we go. I, I cannot believe this is the 55th class. Keep breathing. Out to the side. You can do this. Keep it going. Two more. Here we go. Don't get frustrated. You have to start somewhere. Up on that diagonal. Exhale, hover. Inhale, arms up. Exhale. Reach for your feet. Give yourself a nice stretch. Feel your belly button going back. And then exhale, fold forward. Breathe. Inhale, come up. Make your way onto a plank. One of the things that we did in our first class last year was Eagle Core, but I think I did that last week, so I didn't want to do that today. Let's step into a plank, high push-up. Breathe. So we only stayed here for a few breaths in class number one. But class number 55, we're hanging out, because we can, right? So you can send me a message later, let me know what good books you've been reading lately, how often you get outside. I just read an article today that the new exercise equipment is called the outdoors. I thought that was pretty funny. Also true, shifting forward, shifting back. If it wasn't raining today, I would have done this outdoors. Shifting forward, shifting back, keep breathing, pressing down, breathing, deep breath in, deep breath out. Remember, and I discussed this in the very first class, don't lift your hips up, don't sink your hips, don't let your arms be so far apart, you want them right underneath your shoulders, wrist, elbows, and shoulders aligned. Keep breathing, deep breath in. Exhale, bring your right forearm down, then your left. Hang out. Here we go. Keep it going. Do, 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 do. I don't know why I have the Green Acre song in my mind. <laughs> I'm probably dating myself. Pressing down with your right hand, then your left. Come back up. Deep breath in. Now shift down with your left and then your right. Keep breathing. You're in a forearm plank. Breathe, pressing down with the left, and then the right, coming back up. Almost done, inhale, lift your left knee up. I mean your right, exhale to your elbow. Breathe, deep inhale, we'll add something that wasn't in the first class. Exhale, lower, inhale, lift, bring it back. Deep breath in, lifting the left leg up, bringing the elbow to your your knee to your elbow, I could speak. Exhale, option, lower down. Inhale, lift, step it back. One more breath, almost there. Exhale, come to your knees, press into child's pose. Oh, breathe. Inhale, find a comfortable seat. Comfortable seat, whatever it is. Easy pose, lotus, half lotus. Let your hands rest on your lap, your legs. Sit up nice and tall. Slightly tuck your chin. I invite you to close your eyes and take this time to really slow your breath down. Even it out, the inhale and the exhale. My heart feels like it is coming through me right now from all that breathing in. Breathing out. Slowing everything down. Integrating this very quick core class into yourself, physically and emotionally. The third chakra is 
right at your core, and it's all about sense of self, confidence, resilience. It's fascinating. The stronger that your physical core gets, you notice, and people notice, the shifts in your mental core. Let's inhale your hands together in front of your heart. I thank you so much for joining. I'm going to creep up here to see who's on. And uh, I will look forward to seeing you whenever. Have a great day, everybody. Take care. Maybe I'll see some of you Tuesday. Bye.